the months after Pink Moon, Nick had a nervous breakdown and he ended up being hospitalized for more than five weeks. Finally, he was prescribed antidepressants. He tried to start working on a fourth album in the summer of 1974, but he was unable to bring any of his ideas to life, and the record was left alone as a failed idea. And in November of 1974, two and a half years after the release of Pink Moon, a two and a half year period of mental deterioration and struggle, Nick was found dead from an overdose of antidepressants at the age of 26. His entire career had been just five years long. His father wrote in his diary that day, the worst day of our lives. The housemaid had looked in on Nick at 11.45 and found him lying across the bed. She went in and found him dead. After desperate phone calls, we got the doctor and shortly after an ambulance, which was of course too late. The doctor said Nick had been dead for some hours. The contents of a triptozol were missing and so ends in tragedy our three year struggle. While Nick Drake left no suicide note, his family believes he killed himself on purpose, as it was later found that he died from taking a significant number of antidepressants all at the same time, to the point where the coroner ruled that suicide was undoubtedly his cause of death. 